everyone welcome to my channel in case you're new here my name is Mary and here on YouTube I like to share the many projects I have going on around here with you all We've had a beautiful rainy morning. I love mornings like this, just waking up to a peaceful rain. And it's stopped now, but if you hear raindrops on the roof, it's just coming from the trees. Today's video will be another outdoor one. It's what I'm doing these days, so that's kind of what you're gonna see on here. I'll be working on the front porch, one of my favorite spaces to fix up. So let's get right into it. I had showed you in last week's video when we worked on the back deck how we stripped the floorboards of the old stain that was on there using a pressure washer. So here John is continuing that uh, on the walkway and then out on the front porch. You guys are probably tired of seeing this process, but I tell you, it's been so worth it. Like, it's amazing how much better this looks since the old finish is stripped off. I just love the natural wood. Plan to just apply a clear coat again to this section too. Not sure how this video will turn out, being that we were kind of doing five different projects at one time as we worked on the front porch here. Things got kind of shuffled together, but we ended up taking all of the railing off too and spray painting that. And I had a few other little projects that I worked on as we were kind of in the middle of everything. I find myself using this little table and chairs year after year. I know it's way past its prime. It should probably be replaced, but I really like the look of it. It just gives a kind of whimsical charm to the front porch, I think. So here I'm just gonna touch it up with white paint. I've done this before. I just kind of paint over the whole thing like a light coat uh, just to make it you know, nice and white again. The paint does peel off every year, but if I can just touch it up like this, I'll probably keep doing that as long as I don't you know, grow tired of it. I wanna add some country charm to the front porch this year. And I thought about my little white bicycle that I have here, all dusty in our shop. Of course, we do a lot of sanding and cutting wood in here, so things just tend to get a layer of dust. But I'm going to dig it out and clean it up. I've had this bike for years, and when I used to be a vendor at the Vintage Fair every year, I would often use this little bike as a prop, kind of in my entryway to my booth. And I'd always put pretty flowers in the basket, and it was just kind of a, a charming little piece to display. I've just never really been able to get rid of it. I know it's probably kind of old-fashioned to use a bike in this way, but I'm going to try it this year for the port, just, you know, see how it looks. So I'll show you guys what this floor looks like after being pressure washed. And this is really very similar to last week's video. If you saw that one, um, we had done the same thing to the back deck. And being that our decks are connected, the back deck is through this walkway to the right. And John just continued over to this area and stripped off the old finish. I like it so much better. And as I mentioned last week with the railing, we are planning on, you know, refinishing that too. And we might even get to it in this video, hopefully. But for now, I'm going to be working on my structure that I had built years ago. Um, it's really worn, as you can see. Um, it's gotten numerous coats of paint already, but it does wear off. But I plan to work on that. And as of now, plans are to work on the railing tomorrow. John would remove sections of it and he'd take it out on the driveway for me where I would spray paint it. So that's kind of the plan if the weather permits. The paint or stain I'm using is Cabot brand and if you're local here I got it at the Walnut Creek Hardware. It is a solid stain as far as it doesn't have any transparency. Uh, we opted to go this route because years ago when I was just a young girl living here in this house, the railing was always a dark brown. It used to have like a semi-transparent or even a transparent stain on it. And kind of the only way to get rid of that brown was to either you know paint it black or put a new railing on. Since the pergola structure posts are attached to the railing, I thought it's probably just easier to uh, hand paint these sections versus you know taking them off and spray painting them. 
and I notice with a solid stain, you know, there's more there to peel off, if that makes sense. Like a transparent stain would kind of soak into the wood better, but I still like to see it better than the brown, so I guess we're opting to go this route. And eventually, in the future, we'll probably end up replacing all of the wooden railing with something else, but there's something about a wooden railing, though, that just adds a country charm to a place, I think, in my opinion. John started to remove some of the railing sections. Here's what it looks like. He'll probably start on this end and work his way out through the walkway and then into the back deck. I know spray painting them like this is saving us a lot of time versus, you know, hand painting them as they're still, you know, upright uh, with all of those corners and crevices to get into. I know it may not seem like it here in the video, but this was a lot of hard work. Like we were so relieved when we were finished. Um, it went over the course of a few days. Of course, we didn't just work on it all the time. We had all these little other side things going on on the front porch at the time, but um, just lots of yeah, heavy lifting. And honestly, I did not care for the height here that I had to deal with in holding this railing in place. I felt a lot better if I had a post to kind of steady myself against, but uh, thankfully we didn't lose any railing sections, like they didn't topple over the edge or anything. It really could have happened. I kept looking at my plants down below and just made sure there weren't any people or cats uh, walking underneath as we were attaching these, but it was so worth it. We like it so much better and we know it'll last for a few years at least. I really debated, do I want to keep my water feature or not, because it has seen its better days. But it's one of my favorite things on our porch, and I really don't want to see it go. So I think I'll go ahead and just paint the door, give it a fresh coat of paint. That will help uh, brighten things up. And I also think I'm going to move it, uh, since we took it down to you know, paint the railing. I kind of like to have that space open. Um, I'm able to see the bird feeder better. And I think I'll go ahead and move the fountain over on the other side. I'll show you guys then, but more over towards the swing. Here I'm really just using an interior paint. I don't really have a white exterior paint on hand. I've done this before. I mean, sure, things peel and chip, but honestly, they kind of do that anyway if I use the outdoor paint. So um, I think it'll just add to the look if it does, you know, peel some, but it'll definitely make it look better for the next few years at least. So the basin of this water feature I had picked up in a thrift store years ago and here I'm just cleaning it out. It does get stained over the winter months especially. To fasten the basin, I put two screws into the door to kind of hold the back part in place. And then I have these wooden posts that I use for the front. And these posts are just from a piece of furniture or a railing someone had given me once. They didn't want it anymore. And honestly, it's not even intended for outdoor purposes. It's not like a treated wood or anything, but I continue to give it fresh coats of paint and it continues to last. So for now, this will do. And I know when I cut these posts or when I decided to use them for the water feature, uh, a couple years ago, it was almost divine like how well they actually fit it underneath here. I um, always like when that happens. So I think everything's working pretty good here. Um, I will try to kind of explain how I set this up. I do have a more detailed video on when I made this. I always kind of cringe to send people to my older videos because I believe it was one of my first videos ever here on YouTube. But maybe you can, you know, see how I did this in case you want to have the same setup. I'm sure there's other ways of doing this, but uh, this is just kind of what worked for me. My dad had actually helped me some with setting this up. But as you can see, there's a little holding container back here. That is where my little pump is. And the two hoses you see here, this one goes up to the faucet. 
and this one comes out of the bottom of the basin. And if I, I can control the level of what I want my water to be in the basin by moving this up and down, this little holding container. Right now I think it's at a nice level, so I'll probably just keep it there. But again, that little pump is sitting in the holding container. There's a cord running out, and I have an outlet bottom of the deck here that I plugged it in. And the water is draining out of the basin through this hose, goes up into the holding container, and then from there the little pump will pump it through this hose and out through the faucet. Definitely nothing too fancy, pretty simple actually, but just love the sound of the water here. I sometimes play around with my pump just a bit to set it to either pump water faster or slower to kind of alter my flow here, but I think for now this will do. I get a lot of questions about this stump end table that I use out here on the porch. Uh, it actually used to be a seat at our fire pit area, and that's why it's so weathered, like the bark fell off and it just naturally weathered to this color. I never really did anything with it. Besides, I think I gave it a coat or two of polycrylic just to protect it, make it last longer, but I do love the natural look of it here on the porch. I'm using the same rug that I had gotten at Walmart a couple of years ago. I had done an early spring front porch makeover where I had used these stumps that John cut up for me. I'm going to use them again. I didn't get a video of everything that I potted up, but here I'll show you a few of the things that I did. Most of the annuals come from local greenhouses. I picked up this Miss Kim lilac at a local nursery and supposedly they have a longer blooming time and maybe even the whole summer. I'm kind of wondering, maybe some of you know, and I thought how neat that would be to have this on the front porch all summer long. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the space before I start adding things. Uh, often when I'm ready to fix up a space, I'll kind of stand back and eyeball it and think, you know, where do I want to add some height or certain colors, textures. I mean, I don't always do this, but it kind of helps to have a plan of sorts. And trust me, it doesn't always stay that way then. But uh, for now, just standing back here and eyeing the space, I think I need something with some height in here. And of course, on this log, I'll have some plants with different colors of green. And my theme here is, of course, lots of plants. And I'm going to do something different with the swing. Like the color, I normally stick with greens, but I think I'm going to do blue this year. I think it'll just give that nice country vibe. So I do know that's what I'll add here on the swing. You know, pretty pillows and my logs over here. I want a plant. I need some height in here. And I'm really thinking of adding something hanging. I do have one hanging ivy plant that I plan to add in there. And I have a mirror that I want to put on the door. That always helps to kind of open up a space. And I like walking onto the porch and looking into the mirror and just seeing more of the outside, like all the greenery and some colors. So I got to show you guys this dogwood against the white door and even the home sign. I think I really wouldn't have to add anything else. I'm just loving this but of course I can't just stop there. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few flowers or a plant here on the basin, but I can kind of see myself removing them later because I kind of like that bare look too, so we'll see. I'm bringing out most of my house plants that I had inside during the winter. They always get revived out here on the porch during the summer months. They love it out here. 
We had a cottage guest recently, her name is Deborah, and she made this pretty little wooden plant steak for me. I thought it's just adorable. So thank you, Deborah, if you're watching. I really appreciate it. I think it matches the log perfectly, and I love the combination of the greens with that color. So pretty. Years ago, I bought these plaid pillows at Aldi, I think, of all places. Um, they were a set of two for a really good price, and I've stored them ever since. I've never used them. Um, I liked them when I saw them, but I just never really had the right place for them, I guess. This throw is from Amazon. And brace yourselves, I think this is the prettiest pillow I've ever seen. I found it locally in a store called Modern Farmhouse, and it was the last one they had, so I can't really direct you guys to it. But it's so pretty and fitting for a porch swing like this. We do still sell these little wooden risers if you're looking for something like this. Um, it's such a handy thing to have on hand to just bring something, give it something a little bit of height. And of course we have to burn a candle. What could be more fitting than garden mint? Before getting into the final tour, I want to talk just a bit about the structure that is on our front porch. I built this myself years ago, and the reason I'm even saying this is just to encourage you guys, if you have a space like this, like an open deck or patio, and it just needs something, maybe some shade or just a structure like this, you can totally do this yourself. Like if I can, anyone can, it's nothing fancy at all. And I know it's not, it doesn't really look that pretty even, but I just love how it provides some shade and a character for our deck. So basically years ago when I built this, I just used wood that someone had given us. They didn't want it anymore. I did not pay a penny for the structure. I cut five or six posts the same size and just screwed them onto the railing, added some braces in the middle, and we had these hog panels from way back in the day. I think dad had gotten them. They were just rusting away behind the shop. Just laid those on top, fastened them here and there just a bit to hold them in place, and planted a honeysuckle vine. That was pretty important to me. And over the years, of course, it's grown a lot. Can't wait till it starts blooming. It always smells amazing. So again, just encouraging you to, you know, step out and do something like this if you're kind of pining for a structure and it's maybe too costly. Um, just do it yourself. I mean, it doesn't have to be fancy or perfect. I always think the nature and the pretty plants, all of that kind of evens things out if something doesn't look perfect.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'm excited to use this space. I'm sure I'll be doing a lot of editing out here this summer. As always, I hope your day is going great and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.